story time. Oh, yay, I'm so glad to see everybody. So are you ready? Let's sing our hello song. Do you remember our hello friends song? Do you remember? Let's go ahead and we'll sing. Okay, ready? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Hey. So now the question, do you have your glasses for story time? Do you have them? Let's see, put your glasses on. Oh, I see you putting on your glasses, yay. What about a book? Do you have a book? Put your hands together like this and let's open up the book and see what's inside. I hope it's nothing scary. Let's look, ready? Oh my goodness, it's a pink snake. Close the book. I don't want that in my book. Do you want a pink snake in your book? Let's look again. Let's see, maybe this will be something nice and calm. Let's see. Oh, it's a butterfly. There it goes. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll sing. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up the book. And the book I have to read today is called Tiny T-Rex and the Very Dark Dark. It's written by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Jay Fleck and is read with permission from, uh-oh, Candlewick? Chronicle. Chronicle, sorry, Chronicle Books. Thank you, Miss Lisa. And I'm gonna switch, there we go. Oh, well, no, that's kind of strange. All right, it didn't show just me, it showed Miss Lisa, I don't know why. So here we go. Tiny, it will be dark soon. Yes, Pointy, soon it will be very dark. Hmm, where are they? Are they in the woods? Or maybe they're in the backyard? Hmm, the backyard? Let's see. Up, oh, tiny T-Rex and the very dark, dark. It's our first camp out in the backyard and we are nervous. We've never slept outside before. Have you slept outside in the backyard before? Mm. We are mighty beasts. I am a Rex. Pointy is a pointy, and Bob is my special squish. Hmm. Do you have a special squish like Bob that you sleep with? But even mighty beasts get scared if we can't sleep with our nighty lights. When I am inside, the dark doesn't seem so dark. Hmm. But when I am outside, the dark is very dark. Outside, there are no nighty lights to turn on. And when there are no nighty lights, the grumbles and the nombies come out. Hmm. Those sound scary. Do you think they're scary? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, mother says, there's always a light shining somewhere tiny, even in the dark. If you are brave and look hard enough, you will find it. But it is hard to be brave when you are scared of the crawly creeps 
and it is hard to look for something when you have your eyes shut. It is kind of hard to see when your eyes are closed, isn't it? Pointy and I thought up a secret plan to be brave. When the very dark, dark comes, we will be ready. Mm -hmm. First, we will build a hiding fort. Ooh, that sounds like a plan. To hide our snacks. Yeah, we gotta hide our snacks, right? And ourselves. So here we are, we're building our fort. But it looks like a blanket, doesn't it? Hmm. Feel hidden. Is he hiding very well? Do you, can you see him? I see his head. I see his tail. Hmm. Next, we will make special helmets to protect our brains from the grumbles and the zombies. <laughs> I need a bigger helmet. Hmm. The next part of the plan is the most important. We must hurry. We are running out of time. The crawly creeps are closing in. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Snore. I hear the grumbles. They are close. Should we hide? Should we hide? <gasps> Crunch, crunch, crunch. Run, Pointy, the zombies are here. Hmm. Oh, this is it. Our secret plan is almost ready. What do you think their secret plan is? Hmm. Oh, looks like Christmas. Now we will not be scared of the very dark, dark because we have made a super bright nighty light. Click. Let's see how bright it is. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see how bright it is. <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh-oh. Oh no. Our plan did not work. The very dark, dark has got us. <gasps> I am scared. Pointy is scared. Bob is scared. We are all scared together. Maybe we can be brave together too. Do you think we can be brave together? Brave enough to open our eyes and look very hard. Mm, let's see. Oh, there we are. Hmm. The Oh, I'm not the end yet. I'm sorry. We found some light. What is making the lights? Hmm, the stars, right? They're twinkling up there. Now I can say the end. Yay, <laughs> thank you guys. And now I think Miss Lisa is getting ready to share something really fun with us. Take it away, Miss Lisa. Thank you, Miss Susan, I am. I have a song called A Camping We Will Go and you see here, I'm out in the open. And it's based on a song from literaryhoots.com and it's sung to the farmer of the dell. And the first thing I have is a, what is that? You're right, it's a tree and it goes like this. A camping we will go, a camping we will go. Hi ho, we're off to the 
woods a camping we will go and i'm gonna put my tree right there <gasps> but when we go camping what do we need what do we need what is that oh it's a tent you're right and it goes we will bring a tent oh we will bring a tent hi ho we're off to the woods a camping we will go that looks like a good place for my tent, doesn't it? But now I need to bring my back. Oh, I told you what it was. It's my backpack. I have some gear. We will bring some gear. Oh, we will bring some gear. Hi, ho, we're off to the woods. A camping, we will go. You can't forget your gear. It's your backpack and your snacks. You need to bring those snacks. And then sometimes it gets a little cold when you go camping. So what do we need? What is that? You're right, it's a campfire. We will build a fire. Oh, we will build a fire. Hi, ho, we're off to the woods. A camping, we will go. And I'm gonna put my campfire right. Can you see my campfire? Not too close to your tent though, but you wanna stay warm, right? And guess what now? Oh, I said we need some snacks. So what do I have? Oh my goodness. My bear, the bear will bring some snacks. The bear will bring some snacks. Hi ho, we're off to the woods. Wait, a bear! A camping we won't go, a camping we won't go. Hi ho, we're off to the woods. A camping we won't go. Oh, that was so silly, I like that one. And now I have a book for you, it's called A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee. And it was written by Chris Van Dusen and it was allowed to be read by Chronicle Publishers. Thank you, Chronicle, for letting us read your books. All right, A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee. This is a silly book. I had never read this before, but it's really funny. Early one morning, Mr. McGee, early one morning at 7.03, Mr. McGee and his little dog, D packed up the camper and hitched up the load, hopped in the rumbler and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea for two nights of camping or possibly three. Look at that. That's a nice camper. There's nothing like camping, said Mr. McGee. I know you will love it. Just you wait and see. The views are fantastic. There's hardly a sound aside from the wildlife. There's no one around. And the air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to his small spotted dog. Of course you have to bring your puppy with you. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a great spot to lay camp for the night. It was high on a hill with a beautiful view of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln, and Jefferson too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was the brook that ran over a steep waterfall. Look how pretty that is. Dee gathered pine cones and branches and log. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. And as the sun set behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. Mm, they're making s'mores, my favorite. As the embers went out, they felt tired and dozy. So they climbed in their bunk beds, all cozy and comfy and cozy. But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a stumbling, bumbling bear. A kindly old bear whose sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far and he couldn't see near but he could smell marshmallows, sticky and sweet. This smell made him hungry. He wanted a treat. He sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay, but the car and the camper were in the bear's way. Yet they didn't stop that sneaky old snitch. He simply tried squeezing under the hitch. And as he was shimmying into the gap, he pushed up the hitch, which let go with a snap. That can't be good. Oh, look what's happening. Look at, look at, look at. A 
And now the camper and car were untied. They started to roll down the rocky hillside. The car bounced away on the old logging road while the camper was heading to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill in a wild bumpy ride with Dee and McGee sleeping soundly inside. They were still asleep. Ah! They were snoring and snoozing, enjoying a dream when splash went the camper right into the stream. The splash took the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now what in the world was that, McGee said. And when he looked out and saw, they, saw where they were, his hair stood on end and so did Dee's fur. They were caught in the rapids, but that wasn't all. They were headed smack dab for the big waterfall. Dee and McGee both started, both started to quiver as faster and faster they headed down river. But just when they thought they would fall over the edge. Their camper got stuck on a rock on the ledge. So there they were stranded, McGee and his pup, on top of a waterfall 50 feet up. Oh my goodness, that's so scary. Meanwhile, that nearsighted bear from before was searching for one little marshmallow more when lo and behold, as of out of a dream, he spied something sweet floating down over the stream. But what the bear thought was a marshmallow treat was really the hitch and not something to eat. <sighs> Wonder what's gonna happen. That bear was determined to capture his prize, so he jumped in the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall and snatched up the trailer hitch, camper and all. Dee felt a tug, McGee heard a knock as the bear put the camper right off the rock. He dragged them both all the way down back to the bank when he realized the hitch was not sweet, he got quite, it was quite rank. He spit out the hitch and he left in dismay while McGee and Dee's camper again rolled away. It flew down the path with a jolt and a jar. And stopped in the same bushes right next to the car. Dee popped her head out, McGee looked out too. Had they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last, things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove off down the hill. And on the way home, McGee said to Dee, that trip wasn't quite like I thought it would be. So when they got home with the sky turning red, what a pretty sky, they decided to camp in the backyard instead. Oh, that seems like a much better place to camp now, doesn't it? Oh, I really enjoyed this book. It was fun, but I wouldn't want to go on a camping trip like that. Mm -mm. All right. Now, Miss Crystal has some fun, something fun for you to do. Over to you, Miss Crystal. Take it away. Hi, story time friends. You got your instructions to help make a harmonica? Have you guys made your harmonicas yet? Yeah? All right, you have two popsicles. Yeah. There are two pieces of straw and there are three rubber bands, one long one and two short ones. And when you make this, you wanna make sure that when you put your straws in there, that one is under the the rubber band and the other one is on top of the rubber band. So make sure you follow the instructions because once you put it together, if you guys got it, can you help me blow on it? Yeah? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Up, I see Willow. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, we can play this one in our campfire song and sing campfire tales. Yeah. All right. Do, do, do. That's all I know right now. I need to learn a new song, huh? I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, I do have a little 
camping chant for you that I hope you guys will sing with me. All right. I was laying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't go to sleep. I looked at my watch and I just wanted to wink. I rolled to the left. Oh no, I rolled to the right. Oh no. But all I could hear were animal sounds all night. I heard a, can you make the sound of this animal? I heard an owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Very good. All right. I was laying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't go to sleep. I looked at my watch and I wanted to weep. I rolled to the left. I'm going to be dizzy, aren't I? I rolled to the right. But all I could hear were animals all night. And I heard a woof. Can you guys make the sound of a woof? Oh, must be a full moon too. Very good. All right, we're gonna do one more. You ready? I was laying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't go to sleep. I looked at my watch. But all I could do is weep. And I rolled to the left. Oh, faster enough. I rolled to the right. But all I could hear were animals all night. I heard a bear. Can you guys make a bear sound? <gasps> Thanks, guys. All right, let's see here. Can you guys say how much fun today was? It's time to say goodbye to all of our story time friends. Miss Lisa. All right. So can you wave your elbows? And wave your toes? Now don't forget to wave your nose. Can you guys wave your lips? Can you wave your tongue? That's right. Now blow a kiss with your fingertips. Now wave your chin and wave your eyes. Now let's wave our hands and say goodbye.